This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're in Newcastle ahead of this Saturday night's fight night, live on Sky Sports and The Zone. I am joined by Mr. Thomas Patrick Ward. How are you, mate? Very well, thank you, Lou. Very well. Good. Um, yeah, the sun is on and off here. Beautiful still, day. still beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful day. You know, beautiful view. So, what more do you want? Now, you. I mean, was just having a, a chat off camera there, but. It seems like you have been around for a long time. And you, I mean, your pro debut was back in either 2012 or 13. I think so, yeah, about 2012 or 13 now. It's been been there a long time. I've had 30 fights, 30 fights. So, you know, I've been, been around the block. Absolutely. And again, something that kind of we touched off off camera was the fact that kind of this break breakout fight that you've kind of wanted um, for quite some time now hasn't really come for you where people kind of take notice of one of your performances in the way of saying, well, that's a good fight for him, he's beaten him, etc. That's something you crave, isn't it? Definitely, that's what I want. I want I want that big fight, that, that fight where as well people say, well, you haven't even got much chance of winning, you know what I mean? That's what I want, Coop. Like, I won the British title when I was 22, so I'm 27 now. So, you know, I've just turned 27, so... And I had that good fight in America. I was underdog out over there. You know, went out over there and schooled, schooled him. So, like, that was a good fight. And I thought, like, you know, this big fight's just around the corner, but it just, it doesn't, just hasn't seemed to come yet. So, you know, that's what I've been craving for. I'm craving for that big one. I mean, nine years of professional, you, you'd have thought in some... And there's no disrespect against the kind of the 30 opponents you've been in with, but we kind of know what we're talking about here. But what do you pin that down to, the fact that that fight that you've really kind of wanted hasn't happened for you? What, what do you put that down to? Generally, I really I don't know. I really don't know. I'm like, listen, I'm, I'm here and I want to fight. So if they want to fight, just give us a call. I'm, let's get it on. What can you tell us about your Mexican challenge this weekend? Uh, I think we like we discussed off camera. Hey, not a clue, Coog. Not a clue. I don't watch my opponents. I don't even look at the records. Leave it all to Neil. He's been coming up with tactics in the gym. So, But trainers went well. Sparrows went well. I'm happy. So I'm looking forward to Saturday night and putting on a good show. We know you're focused on this Saturday and obviously nothing else matters apart from you getting the win. But after that, when we're talking about these big fights, I mean, we're talking about up at featherweight, guys like Navarrete, these are the sort of names that you really want to put yourself in the mix with. 100%. That would be an ideal fight out there because as well, touching on the subject, people say, oh, well, you don't think we've got much chance of winning. But me, I believe I'd, I'd win that fight. And... I was very close to him at, at Super Bantamweight until he moved up and he fought like f five or six of the people in, in the division from one to six, except me. And at the time I was ranked maybe one, two or three at the time, I can't really remember. Um, so, you know, I think um, a good win on Saturday night maybe pushed towards that, yeah. Well, listen, like I said, you've been in boxing long enough to kind of want those. I mean, if you didn't want those kind of fights against the top people at the weight, then there'd be something wrong. No, that's what I mean. I'm, I'm here for them fights. If I didn't want them fights, I wouldn't be a boxer. You know, I'm just wasting my time. But them's the fights I'm chasing, them the fights I want. So, I mean, you've got Galahad and Dickinson there fighting for the IBF too. I've obviously already beat Dickinson. So, you know, them's, them's the big fights I want. I want that, them's the kinds of fights I want to take on and uh, prove that I'm the best. Again, something else we discussed, that you're, you're currently kind of holding one of the longest unbeaten runs in, in British boxing. And a win for you Saturday equals Tyson Fury's. Uh, record with his 30 wins and a draw. Yeah. Um, I don't think there's anyone else. Obviously, Billy Joe was somewhere up there before he's lost to Canelo, but I don't think there's anyone else currently in British boxing that has a record like that. No, I don't believe so either as well. Obviously, I think it was Billy Joe until he took the loss to Canelo, and uh, me and the big man, yeah, I think we're going to be on par come Saturday night. Well, listen, like I said, you've uh, been in the sport long enough and had that, that many fights, and that's what the stats tell us. So, That's what I was yeah, absolutely. Uh, the big boys want to fight. Uh, here I am, getting touch with MTK, and I'm ready to rock. Um, let's touch on the fact that there's going to be a thousand fans. It sounds so good to even say that to you, uh, Thomas. That we're going to be in a, a situation on on Saturday. We know at the Joshua fight there was like 500 fans there, etc. But um, in Newcastle, a thousand fans is going to feel like 10,000 fans. It's going to be like 10,000, 100%. I mean, in that little small arena too, I think it holds three or 4,000 originally anyway. So 1,000 fans in there are going to be packed, screaming. It's a bit of normality, you know, back to normal, fighting in front of a crowd again. It's going to be brilliant. I really can't wait. Well, like I said, get the job done this week and I do hope you do get that kind of fight that you want because you deserve it. You've been in the sport long enough to, to like I said, I'll repeat myself, but to warrant those kind of fights. So 
yeah, get the job done and uh, we'll see what happens after that. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you very much, Google. Have you got anything else you'd like to add, mate? No, I'm all good. Like I said, just give us a call. I'm ready to go. Thomas, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. Wish you the best of luck on Saturday and we'll grab a word of you after the fight on Saturday night. Perfect. Thank you very much, Google. See you then.